when the Christian fails, God sits in heaven and God feels sad. Challenges are not meant to destroy us. And that is why he said it elsewhere. That he will not allow things that are above us to come upon us. And in other words, whatever that comes to us, God knows we can handle it. So the challenges you are facing now, God can trust you. And you see, when we go to any war front, the best soldiers are placed at where the battle is the fiercest. They are not placed where there are no battles. They are placed where the battle is fiercest because they are skilled and they are trusted. Can God trust you in the challenge you are having? The only thing he wants you to do when the challenges are becoming too much is for you to come to him. He wants to meet you in the morning. He wants to meet you in the afternoon. He wants to meet you at night. Fathers, mothers, brothers and sisters. When God is not getting our attention, he increases our challenges. So that once the challenges are increasing, you will be able to turn and look up to him. You will be able to turn and tell him that God, I cannot carry it alone. But unfortunately, when the challenges are increasing, instead of turning up to our God, we choose to turn to our skills. We choose to focus on the things that can help us. And at times, when God sees that his attention is not being gotten, he increases the challenges the more. I pray may we not learn out of that. But may God help us to be focused so that in our call with him and in our continuing with him, we will understand that one thing that ought to characterize our life is victory all through. You can't be with him and fail. You can't be with him and be disappointed. You can't be with him and say that I am so bad and I'm confused and I am thinking she said it's an option. No, it is never an option. You have been made to be able to confront the challenges of this life and to overcome when they come.